guys, we're back. This should be the last hit. Alright, so that's the last hit of the training, and it's a home run. So, as you see, we did absolutely demolish the, the point uh, predictions. So we got 250 training points. We're going to go back, and I think we actually have a lot of training points right now. So we're going to do some upgrades to our character guy thing. I don't know what you call him. Our player. Batting practice today. We're skipping it. Alright. We gotta beat these guys. I don't think we've beaten them yet. They have cool jerseys on right now. What are those? Here's your two and one pitch. Hit on the Sweet. Field it cleanly. What about that new... Alright. So let's see here. We need to hit one out of here. Like, okay, here we go. Perfect time to hit one out too. What? Are you kidding me? He caught that? It, whenever Ronda Rousey gotten, you know, won her fight or whatever. That's out of here. Apparently, her and Floyd Merriweather had like a conversation, or they, or sh someone asked Ronda if she'd beat him in a fight, and Ronda Rousey was like, "I'm not. I wouldn't beat him in a boxing match, but if you put us in the ring for UFC." And she said something. I don't remember exactly what she said, but she said something. And pretty much what she said was, is she could, I think, she she was pretty much saying that she could hold her own if it was her and Floyd in, a, um, in the UFC cage. Which probably makes a lot of sense, because Ronda Rousey is a very tough woman. Now, Floyd is a very good boxer. But, I mean, if you want to be completely honest, and if you want my opinion, I think Ronda Rousey could probably beat up more than half of the UFC men in the light heavyweight. Maybe not the light heavyweight, but the featherweight. Probably absolutely destroy him. Because she's just a beast. I mean, if you ever watch her fight, she doesn't like to get... I mean, she doesn't like to lose. All she does is win. They come back. They're winning now. Are you kidding me? <sighs> See, this gets on my nerves. It, it really does. Last dude struck out, you're two and two. Bases are loaded, two outs. I believe in you. You can do this. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's all we needed. That's all that man needed was a little bit of confidence. He needed for someone on the field to tell him that they believed in him. That's all he needed. Uh, I did I did realize right there I had a chance to win the game for us. That's why I got real quiet, but we choked. We couldn't um we couldn't clutch it for the team. Okay. Alright. Now what's going on on this side of the field? Strike out. Hits it to the Okay. If we can pull this double play right here, it'd be perfect. Just perfect. I'm getting so nervous right now. I love overtime in baseball or extra innings, whatever it's called. We pulled the double play. So what we what we need to do here is I'm looking for my teammates to prob possibly maybe get a good. Nah, that didn't happen. Okay, so he didn't hit. He didn't hit. And okay, I gotta feel. I gotta feel this guy. Got to. Come on now. I believe in you. You can hit it right to me. Come on. Don't even hit it anywhere else but to me. Good throw. There we go. We had to scoop it, but it was a, you know. Isn't the name of the Cincinnati Red Stadium? Whatever park, All, All American Park, something like that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Come on, put a lefty up there. Yeah. No! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It was going to be a walk off. Man. Are you actually kidding me? Man. That's unfortunate. Alright, so that's still center field. Okay, that's good. That's good. We, we just won this game if the person that's running the third right now can pick up his feet.
There we go. We just won the game for us. That was an inside the park home run too, so I can title this video inside the park home run. Or walk off home run. <laughs> Alright, we're back. Sorry I didn't um outro that last game. It doesn't really matter. I was just so happy that we finally, you know, won against this team. What's our record right now? So the, I think I saw that they're, they have 49 wins. We have 48. So they are currently leading the division, if I'm not mistaken. So we definitely need to try to knock them down a peg or two right here. And I want to quit fielding so much. Can you quit hitting the ball to me? Yeah, I get nervous because I always manage to screw it up. Okay, so we've run the second. We're not going to get him. Nope. He's way too fast. Goodness. That dude is Speedy Gonzalez. Alright, so here we go. Have they scored at all? They don't score like six runs in the first inning, so... That didn't happen this time. And we do have a lefty up to the plate. I mean, up... Pitching. Why do I keep on saying up to the plate? He's at the mound. That's what I need to learn to say. He's up at the mound. Not at the plate. Look at this guy's pitching stance. It's really weird. There we go. That's a perfect hit. There we go. Um, ever since I've had my iPhone 5S, I have broken so many chargers, and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I literally, I did the same thing with the iPhone 4S, like just let it charge, <laughs> and then this one I broke two of the ones that you get from Apple. Like, I had mine. I broke the one I had. It took it a while, though. So, like, I was like, okay, it's about time this one breaks. And then I had another one from, I don't know how I, I got it, but I had another one. I used it. It, like, it just wouldn't charge. Like, it would only work if I had it a certain way. Wow, that, 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 that hurts my feelings. Um, it only worked if I put it a certain way. And then... I had a fancy one that like lit up blue lights. That one worked for literally about a week, and then it broke. So I figured maybe that one, it you know, it just like the the lights had something to do with it, you know, whatever. So then I got this blue charger, and it was called a lightning charge cable type deal, and it was not. It did not lie whenever it said it was a lightning charge cable. I could charge it a hundred percent battery in about fifteen minutes. And I'm not even lying. Like. I have, I'm, I use my mom's regular charger now, and I, I started charging it at 3 o'clock this afternoon. I picked it up at 6, and it was on 40%, and it was dead whenever I plugged it in. So, you know, that's 3 hours, and you're only getting 40%. That's a little bit ridiculous. So that makes me think that maybe there's something wrong with my phone, but, you know, it's okay. But, um, I want to get another lightning charge cable, because that thing was awesome. It charged it so fast. And I could, which I know it's probably because I lay in my bed and I watch YouTube videos like all night long and it's probably sitting at a weird angle. And I need a laptop, but I have one, but I don't have a charger for it. So that's a little bit of a problem. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use the laptop. It's been a long time since that thing's booted up. It'd probably have troubles booting up if I tried. But fortunately, we're, we're going to just gonna go ahead and get right into the next game because there's no sense in fooling around. This has been a really weird episode. It's going to take me a little bit to figure out how to edit this one just because there's a part where I was on base for a long time when I started talking about nothing. So I'm definitely going to cut that part out. Um, <laughs> I, got, I got the part where I showed you some of my training. I figured that'd be pretty cool to show you, you know, my training and stuff like that. So, you know. And after this game, we actually need to look and see how we're doing compared to Alexi Ramirez just because... I feel like that's important. We gotta we gotta see what our competition is. I don't think he's he's not gonna be too much of a problem for us. Actually hit eight hundred views the day that I'm recording this, which is crazy. Cause I mean that's that's a lot of views, I'm not gonna lie. But here we go. And I'm I'm happy about that, so and I'm actually I'm getting closer to figure out how to record some counter strike for y'all. I, the other day I got a 4K on Dust 2 with a P90, and I was going to try to show it. It's only like a two-minute clip, but um, I figured I could show that to you. That'd be pretty cool. In my opinion, I think it'd be awesome. The only problem is, is I would record it using my Elgato, but the Elgato, or ooh, 
in, in order to do that, you have to plug an HDMI cord into your graphics card so it can record whatever's on your computer screen. My graphics card doesn't have an HDMI port, which is kind of weird because laptops have HDMI ports. So, And I figured maybe I could fix my laptop or whatever, download Steam, download Counter-Strike, and then just record it on my laptop. I think that would work. Oh, that was a beautiful hit. Okay, that'd be pretty cool, though. If I can get my laptop to work, you'll definitely get some Counter-Strike content. I'm not going to be playing it off my laptop, but I can have my account on my laptop and then download the previous games or something like that. So if you would want to see me do that, I mean, obviously it's going to be a while because i got to find out how to get a charger. But if I figure out how to do that, I can definitely do that for y'all. But we're getting killed again by this team. Ooh, that was a good hit. You see that hit? That hit was sh like right to the corner, and I'm I'm gonna make it to third. <laughs> if we can hit a home run right here, or hit a decent hit, we sh we will be in a very good position here to come back in this game. But honestly, if if I don't get an RBI right here, or at least put me on second base, I can't see us coming back because. My team doesn't like to clutch it up on the top of the innings, but, so. Oh, that was a great pitch. Not gonna lie, bud. Pitch that one again. Just kidding, don't. I really don't want to have to be walked. That's good. That would suck. There we go. Extra right fielder, though. Darn it, man. I thought maybe whenever I saw it, it would hit that gap again, but it didn't happen. Oh, instead of us scoring, they scored. Typical. Why in the world would we want to score? That, that doesn't make any sense. Now here's the first pitch. That was a beautiful hit. I bet Guarantee's going to catch it, though. Right there. There's Giona Cespedes. There he is, just chilling in left field. Catches everything I hit over there. Literally everything. We ended up losing that game again. So that's the third game of the episode. This is Ice Nine Kings, and I will see you guys next